door. The arrests of all three suspects, police say murdered a Louisville pawn shop owner during a robbery last month, brings some relief to his loved ones. <laughs> You guys be taking it. I, I know it was a sun man that killed that fucking white lady in Louisville. I know it with my heart. Press one if you think it was a sun man that killed that white lady that half a crackhead in Louisville, man. One. One. <laughs> we always killing gliders, man. We stay killing gliders, man. God. So. The arrests of all three suspects, police say murdered a Louisville pawn shop owner during a robbery last month, brings some relief to his loved ones. Fox Force Peyton Yeager talked with a relative about this latest news of a shout out to DVK, man. He says, This is because you are relentless. Uh blessings on you and yours. Please tell us more blackface killer stories. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, Look at look at these masks these white people wearing in their mug shots. They ain't even make the white people take their mask off in the mug shot. That's privilege, man. Jatavon. <laughs> Jatavius. Stephen, according to police, all three suspects were staying here in Dallas. Louisville police working alongside Dallas police to track down these three suspects just days before the victim's funeral. We can begin to heal, and uh, it will still take some time, but we are healing. Friday was the first step towards forgiveness for Misha Gonzalez. It's still maybe a little too early to say we forgive you, but uh, you know we'll we'll get there. It's a little too early. You're, you're already why did, thinking why did about ask her this. Did I just ask this one? Will she forgive these people? That's evil. Well, why? Yeah, I don't know if they asked her that. They, I think they ask these people this, and really? then make them answer the questions on camera. Oh my god! I'd have been like, Yikes. the trial hasn't even started yet. The fuck you talking right? about? Right, you just caught them, man. <laughs> you just caught them. They I'd even... be like, that's for me to know, not for you to find out. Shit, man. Um, salute to Eric S. Oc Nation Hall of Famer coming through once again. Salute to Amber, man. She says for a. She said, "Oh no, this is it. No, let me see. Let me see. Um, yeah, salute to Amber, man. Um, coming through the final challenge, man. You know, we'll we'll get there. All three suspects wanted in connection to her brother-in-law's murder are now in custody. Louisville pawn shop owner, 54-year-old Daniel White, was shot and killed during an attempted robbery on February 14th. For the last month, White's family waited for any updates. It's been a whirlwind. Uh, we have good days, we have bad days. Thursday, Gonzalez says, was a pivotal day. 19-year-old DeMonta Skinner, the last of the three suspects, turned himself yeah. into police. Black Gen Z, man. <laughs> Black Gen Z just shot somebody, man. Shit. You look like a killer. Look at his eyes. Soulless, evil bastard. Yeah, Demonte you look like you haven't slept in a minute. Three suspects. Well, he been on the run. <laughs> turned himself into police Thursday afternoon. Skinner's younger brother, 17-year-old Denarian Skinner, turned himself in on Tuesday. Denary. Both surrendered after police announced they had warrants issued for their arrests earlier this week and believed the two were staying in South Dallas. 18-year-old Jatevon Johnson was taken into custody on February 25th in Dallas. The three teenagers now like all face you. capital murder charges. As a mother of two young boys, I just can't even begin to imagine what those parents are going through because I would be devastated. So Fuck their parents. Uh, see, so, this is, this is uh, why y'all losing. This is why y'all get killed. <laughs> this is why y'all die and no more cares. There you go. Yeah, man, fuck their parents. We want to lift up the families to the three young men. On Valentine's Day, Louisville police say the armed suspects dressed in hoods and dark clothing rushed into the pawn shop as White was opening for the day. One of the suspects opened fire and shot White in the chest. The three suspects took off in a Ford Escape. White. So they didn't even get shit. They just ran up. They basically killed him like an op. 
They ran up, shot him, got scared, and ran off. Armed suspects dressed in hoods and dark clothing rushed into the pawn shop as White was opening for the day. One of the suspects opened fire and shot White in the chest. The three suspects took off in a Ford Escape. White died later at the hospital. Just like drop to your knees, pain. Pain, Gonzalez says, was felt through the community. Customers lined the Louisville pawn shop fence with flowers and stuffed animals. It's not going to be the same. It's definitely not going to be the same here. White devoted the majority of his life to his job at the pawn shop. He started working there when he was 16 and never stopped. White was also married to his high school sweetheart, Yolanda. Man, we're going to miss him forever. With all three suspects in jail, Gonzalez now says she's trying to picture future milestones like holidays and birthdays without the one who would always make everyone smile. And Daniel's always there. And he's always so much fun. We always have so much laughter. And uh, I don't know how those birthday dinners are going to be anymore without him sitting there with us. It's going to be a hard, hard thing to get used to. Smash the old dead man. <laughs> Why does he make you laugh? Too soon. Now he actually cute. But um now nah, I wouldn't care about them damn parents. I mean, why she even putting her child in the same category with those monsters? Like why? I'm I'm convinced, like I am just questioning a lot about gliders, man. A lot of stuff that I learned about gliders, I'm starting to revisit that shit, man. Like I can't be. It's a few of y'all that was really awesome, invented a lot of shit, and took over a lot of shit, and created a lot of shit, innovated a lot of shit, and you know traversed the the, the globe and shit like that. And the majority of y'all are fucking morons, man. <laughs> it just is what it is, man. Y'all like not like sun morons. Y'all morons in a different way. Get don't get me wrong. Y'all not like. Son, they're gullible. Huh? they're gullible. Yeah, yeah, y'all, 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 different type so of much more. compassion for criminals. <laughs> like, even the video before the lady, the girl, like, they're just kids, they're just, and they just completely destroyed her life for that moment. And she's like, smile, they're just kids. What's wrong with these people? Yeah, it's just weird, man. Um, it's, it's very, very weird. Very weird. They know not to ask me anything. I'm gonna say I'm calling for the death penalty. I want I want them life in prison without parole. I hope the police beat your ass. I hope the CO beat your ass. Yeah, I'm saying all that on camera. 